This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. <sighs> we'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. I've been meaning to ask, but how does one become the adopted child of the Dawn Servant? I was but a ball of fuzz at the time, so I don't remember much. My earliest memories are of life in the palace. All I know is that 
I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel. But I've never bothered to return there. As far as I'm concerned, Ulul Jaja is my only parent. I quite understand. I have no memories of my birth parents either. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galuf was my dear grandfather, and he was all I needed. So our situations were quite similar. Even though Papa already had a true-born son, he raised me and Kona with no less love. One time, <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, Papa dropped everything and came to my rescue. I was scared and sobbing and ready for a scolding. But the Head of Resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal. I did get my lecture from the Head of Reason, though. He went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways I could have died. <laughs> Growing up, Papa was kind and patient, but a tyrant when it came to training. Now, of course, I realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise. For all the good it did. There's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana, I hardly know anything. I've lived such a sheltered life. Yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people. I don't have Kona's education or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado. Not fit to bear my title. Don't compare myself to my siblings, you mean? Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. My reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. It's always been about the Turali and what I can do for them. You said it yourself. How important it is to properly know something. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. I'm sorry, everyone. I've been a fool. From this moment on, I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. I won't faint strength to hide my weaknesses. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tuli Hyolal and my fellow Turali. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. I will find the City of Gold for all of us, along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Kryl. I swear. I appreciate it, Wuklamart. But you needn't take on that burden as well. Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats. As his granddaughter, I wouldn't wish to endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation. So let's just concentrate on winning the contest. We have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey.
Here, here. We are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. With our combined talents, nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Are you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister? Nay, there is no need for that. Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Helping you has made us rivals, aye, but we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Unless, of course, it is a matter of winning or losing the contest. Then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. Despite our long history, never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. <laughs> Lamachi has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates, the head of the students of Bardesian. And then there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. If she's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. Not that I have any intention of bowing out. Our time in Urkopacha only served to strengthen my resolve. We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. Our nation can change for the better. And I will be the man to change it. Well, it's a start. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. But to return to the subject of the right, I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes Dawnsurned, not the one who performed the seven feats first. The would-be victor need only possess the seven keystones. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient son? The only child ever sired by a two-head. Only the ignorant or foolish could fail to see that you were born to be Dawn's servant. Such titles mean nothing.
Ah, I neglected to mention. When I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence with Gulul Jaja's inner circle. They all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great, it can dictate the course of history. If this power truly exists, then I humbly beg a fair share of it. Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside, after all. And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course, no matter who is made to suffer. In battle, everyone bleeds. The Dawn's promise is no exception. What better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? I was hoping for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. Hmm. I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. Be a shame to lose a plaything, but we'd still have two more. <laughs> if I may ask, Chosen One, what are your plans for Tuliolal after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we care about all that? We care only about the contest and proving our superiority. That would surely please mother and father. Yes, and when we become Dawn's servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our kid to live in the city. <laughs> Fine idea! Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. Back to it, then. We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. <sighs> I need it. <sighs> I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat. <laughs> Yet, somehow I made it. <laughs> oh, my arms, I can barely lift them. If, if I could just rest a moment. <laughs> you expect us to wait for you? Those who can't keep up will be left behind. My brother has spoken. March, or be father for the beasts. But I followed the teachings! Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for the blessed seedlings. Wait. Don't leave me behind! I'm begging you!
<laughs> Forgive me these sudden summons. When I learned my daughter's champion was back in the city, I couldn't resist the opportunity. <laughs> and they call me head of resolve for good reason. Old as I am, I have not lost a battle worthy of the name since the day I took the throne. And I've been craving a proper challenge. The lands welter, Stinian. He fought well enough, but our bout was ended before a victor could be decided. Judging by the sailor's gossip, you are a warrior of renown in your homeland. Yet I wonder, with all your deeds done and victories won, are you warrior enough to stand against me? <laughs> A spirited answer. Why not indeed? <laughs> the battle rages upon me. I'll stop short of killing you, of course. But expect no other mercies. Go! Ready your arms. Show me the truth of the tales. I brought my full strength to bear against opponents before, but you are the first to withstand it. Even with my head of reason asleep, I never expected you to give me so much trouble. Hestinian did not exaggerate. You are a force to be reckoned with. I said I crave a challenge, and that was no lie. But I had another reason for calling you here. I had to judge for myself if you were fit to attend my beloved daughter. In some respects, she is much like me. Hot-headed and prone to rush into danger. But one with your talents could readily dispatch the threats to Barnamachi's way. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliola, but a concerned father. Thank you. Then tell me, given your journey together thus far, what is your impression of Lamati? 
Whether it be as their promise or just a companion on the road. Speak your mind. Ha! <laughs> A tactful response, but agreed. She is not ready for the throne. Not yet. Hmm. Lama T thinks she understands our many peoples. Their histories, their cultures, their beliefs. But she knows only what she's seen in the capital. And it's not only her who concerns me. Even this early in the contest, you must have realized. As potential rulers, all four claimants are lacking. This is why I elected to hold the right of succession. Not to choose a fitting candidate, but to cultivate one. And if no one has impressed me by the end of it, then to no one will I yield my throne. As a parent, I pray that my children rise to the occasion. <laughs> With outsiders dragged into my game, I am also hopeful that the different perspectives you and your companions have to offer will inspire them to grow. I imagine you in particular have traveled many lands, know many peoples and cultures, loved them and been loved in turn. Guy Lamachi, as you think best. Walk at her side and, when needed, push her to walk ahead. I knew it. There I was, about to sit down for some of Namika's cooking when I heard that Papa had sent for you. You were dueling behind my back, weren't you? <laughs> I see there is no point in denying it. You needn't worry, daughter. I took care not to inflict lasting injuries. You and your ally may return to the contest without disadvantage. No harm done. I swear, just as I was learning newfound respect for my father. Let's take our leave of this battle-mad oaf before he calls on the rest of my entourage. Watch over her, champion. Kona's recruits are no less sharp, as one might expect of Gallop's countrymen. They saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset. The other two, though. They dismiss comrades willing to point out their shortcomings. And no good can come of it.
finding a willing artisan was even easier than expected. Many indeed are eager to curry favor with the Resilient Sun, especially if it means sharing the promise of new territories. Those who prove useful will have all the land they desire. Such generous words, yet the manner in which he speaks them. If neither wealth nor territory are of value, wherefore does he seek to bring the world to heal? Step aside. Remind me, there was no rule against poaching craftsmen from other claimants, was there? Do not be foolish, Bakul Jaja! <laughs> foolish would be carrying on with these dull feats when all I need to win are the keystones. And besides, it's long past time I humble this arrogant one head. The Don Serrat may have sired you against all odds, but there is nothing blessed about your birth. Only a two head is fit to rule. Only we are worthy. Draw your weapon! Face me in battle! and learn your place. A moment, first promise. Leave him alive, if you would. I foresee a use for this nuisance. Too scared to make the first move? Then allow me! My thanks for your restraint. I can kill him whenever I please. <laughs> your part in this is far from over.
Better late than never. That Mamulja. He's the one who kidnapped Wook Lamart. So we're still unsure. If we can follow him a bit longer, confirm his connection to the abductors. <sighs> that will complicate matters. Found it. If I set out now, I can trail them along the riverbank. Do it. Even if it costs you the contest. What worth is the throne if I lose my sister to win it? Very well, then. I'll send word when I locate her. Till then, I suggest you save your strength. A rescue attempt could turn ugly. That who be gorgeous now. I swear I've seen him with Bakul Jaja. Knowing the way that monster works, he probably hired bandits to kidnap her so we could steal her keystones. But even alone, my sister is more than a match for a gang of untrained ruffians. She must have been ambushed or deceived. I should have been there! If those bastards have hurt her! How can I become when... <sighs> Forgive me. Snapping at you won't get my sister back. I'm afraid I've always been like this when it comes to Lamachi. The thought of her being in danger sends me into a panic. But isn't that how families should be? These days, Turali Mikote live however they please. But the clan into which I was born kept to the nomadic traditions of our ancestors. They herded their own neck across the plains, always moving with the seasons. During one such migration, my birth parents left me behind. A child. All alone. Without a single word of explanation. A chance encounter with a kind Pelu merchant was the only reason I survived. Taking pity on me, he taught me his trade that I might fend for myself. I became a stallkeeper in Tuli Yolal's market. And that is where the Don Servant found and adopted me. I had already been in the palace some time when Lamachi came to join us. Like me, she had been cast aside by her parents. I knew the pain of solitude and wanted to spare her that suffering. As this tiny child's new brother, I swore. I would always be there for her. <clears throat> so, as you might now understand, I will stop at nothing to rescue her. While we await word from Tancred, I suggest we prepare ourselves to travel downriver. You have a boat, yes?
I release the Panitiev not to delay pursuit. If we were unsure of their guilt before, then this surely proves it. Before we act, however, let us regroup with your comrades. Would you mind making the call? Understood. We'll meet you in many fires. Fengred. The third promise is up ahead. She's unharmed, but we best not dally. Satisfying to claim their baubles by force. Give it back! Fosentan poured his everything into that stone. He's no right to touch it. Oh, was that the name of your artisan? How could you allow something so precious to be stolen? You thieving cheat! You're no true claimant! <laughs> what does that make the foolish kitty who fell into my trap? If pitiful roars were all it took to claim the throne, you'd be first in line. Now, now, brother. You shouldn't tease her. Look, the poor thing's on the verge of tears. Meow. Someone save me! <laughs> oh, did that! His scales are as thick as his skulls. Coward! You dare ambush me! Is the blessed sibling's favorite tactic. Oh, that useless Buna was sick of it. He was supposed to keep the lackeys running in circles. Oh, you must tell me all about that. Careful now. You wouldn't want to hit our hostage. That one's not to be underestimated. Ta! They can do nothing while we have. Impeccable timing. <laughs> Amachi! Are you all right? I, thanks to you. <sighs> These 
these weaklings think they can defy us? We'll slaughter the lot of them! Patience, brother. The Keystone is ours. There is no need to fight this day. And Zoralja has left us hurting. No! I won't stop until I've got these maggots and feed them their entrails! If we fall here, we fail our siblings for nothing. Is that what you want? <sighs> no, brother. Break off! We retreat! We! Uh, damn you, Bakul Jaja! Do we give chase? We head back. How much she is safe. And that is what matters. I don't have Kona's education, or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado. Not fit to bear my title. Why? 
Because my father built a nation where everyone can live in peace. And I want to keep it that way. Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. Are you warrior enough to stand against me? Not even the slightest hint of fear. I knew you were no pretender. Are you warrior enough to stand against me? Do you think me unworthy? I'll soon change your mind. <laughs> the battle rages upon me. I'll stop short of killing you, of course. But expect no other mercies. Go! Ready your arms and show me the truth of the tales. Those bastards have hurt her! I do trust him, but... <sighs> Forgive me. Snapping at you won't get my sister back. I should have been there! If those bastards have hurt her! And what exactly is that supposed to... <sighs> Forgive me. Snapping at you won't get my sister back. <sighs> 